Hello, guys. Welcome to Gospel Reactions once again. Thank you so much for always liking and sharing, subscribing. Of course, telling your friends about what we do right here at Gospel TV. We love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, Big Lala, of course, is very much in the building. Compliment of the season once again to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for doing what you do for us. We love and appreciate you guys so much. Big Lala, it is um, inching towards the end of the year everyone having 30 december everyone releasing not everyone actually yeah. some artists releasing uh new music and of course some yeah. are steady on the chat as well this year has been the year of ashake on the chat apple music chat for you know the longest of times for months for weeks it's been ashake all the way everywhere or anything that ashake touches right now at that time yeah still you know uh, get on the chat. Ruga seems to be the new king of the chat at the moment with Ashiwaju, but there's a new sh sheriff in town, um, Zinoliski, who is not letting sleeping dogs lie by actually coming out to say, guys, I am number one and I'm going to blow that trumpet and let everyone know. Now, Apple Music number one, top 10, top three, top two, or whatever, Zeno, Ruga, what exactly is, you know, going on? These new guys seem to be taking over from the old cats. What is the secret? They yeah, make a look like there's nothing um, secret about the whole thing. Ruga's and Shiwajo has been out for over a month. Yeah. It has basically built, fund, I mean, built house, built duplex on that number one spot on Apple Music. Mm. Two other months undisputed yeah. songs came and I mean every week songs were released. Yeah, and they couldn't defeat that song. Even his arch nemesis in Buju released a song and they still couldn't defeat him. You get yeah. so if you have spent a month there and someone else comes, I, I think it's is standard practice, is normal um for for that to happen. Zeno, on the other hand, has released a new album, let's not forget. Yeah, um, with that comes with a lot of support from these stores. He's going to be the face of this, a face of this. He's going to be higher on the playlist on here, here and there, and things like that, which is yeah. which is standard, which is all fair and good. And he's getting the support, uh, which is all fair and good. But I think he just needs to focus. He should just be great so that he's number one at the moment on Apple Music, but also focus on the other platforms. Um, On Boomplay, Ashiwa is still one of the most said songs, songs on yeah. YouTube. It's still trending yeah. on, on, on these social platforms. It's still well regarded, you get. And it's still picking up. It's like a a good song would always be a good song. Songs yeah. like uh, Young Young John's Extra, Extra cool. cool. Yeah. It's the song is making a comeback and it's not a new song, but a yeah. good song will always be a good, good song, regardless. Um yeah. it's good that Zeno is happy that he's number one Apple music, but that's not the end, that's not the end of the road. It's actually the start of the journey. He needs to continue in that part. His album, on the other hand. In as much as there are good tracks on that album, I still feel some of those. I mean, the album itself is a bit. Uh, it's an I, EP I actually, not an album. Yeah, EP, but it's a type of. It's a. It's the word I'm looking for is not coming to my head. I don't want to say monotonous because that's that's just what everyone would say it is. But I understand that Zeno is what he is uh, as an artist. He has a particular style that yeah. he's he, that he's. I mean that he, everybody knows him as, but yeah. Sometimes it's good to have variety or to show your, I mean, versatility. Yeah. That album did not prove that you get. But yeah, personal is is the lead single of it, and they're of pushing the album of the EP, yeah, right? they're pushing it really well. And yeah, it's a good song that deserves uh, to be topping that particular chart at the moment. But it needs to do more. I mean, there are more, there's more competition coming. So yeah, yeah it's well, not it's not uh, the end. big. Lala, why is it that when this guys, I mean, when Ruga had his Ashiwaju on number one at the time, there were lots mm -hmm. of accusations of streaming farms directed at him, especially from the Buju camp. Now Zeno has his thing on number one right now, and there are, there are talks, you know, from some quarters about oh streaming farms here and there. Oh, he's got some money to pay some people and all of that. Can these guys actually do these numbers without people believing that uh, they're using some sort of streaming farms here and there? People were actually that I actually respect in this streaming thing. Are people were able to climb up these charts with little or no um, sort of support from the, the the platform themselves because it takes a lot. I mean, effort for you to uh, 
generate these numbers organically, right? But some of these guys who are made, I mean, they not like they rely on it, but without the help of the guys at Apple who are placing them on these playlists, who are making them a cover of here, who are putting them on the biggest playlist that people listen to, are they able to get these numbers? And this is the same for several other artists. It's not a bad thing, to be honest, but yeah, they did they did pretty well. Um, and for people like Zeno, can he pull the numbers like you asked? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know. What would make it more impressive is when these guys across the board are making these numbers and uh, as you are topping Apple, you are topping Spotify most played, you are topping Boomplay, you are topping YouTube. That's what makes it more impressive. It cannot just be an isolated thing that happens in one platform and you feel that's that's the end of the world or that's the start of it. People need to start taking other platforms seriously. It's very, very important. But, uh, should this artist actually... um in terms of being number one on Apple Music and not being number one on the other, you know, uh, um, platforms, is it still a win for them? Uh, to be honest, they see it as a win because Apple is the biggest platform. But is it it's a, a win? Sort of, uh, b- b- big lala. I don't see it as a win because it's a classist thing because people still get issues with paying for Apple Music. Only people who have dollar cards or people who, who know how the thing goes are able to subscribe. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't have the the largest fan base of music listeners in Nigeria. It doesn't. If you wanna have that, you go to either Boomplay or you go to Audio Mark. Those are the two highest, I mean, uh, consumer base or customer base uh, music listeners that you have in Nigeria. So yeah. those things they need they need to they, they people need to take up those. Even though the the pay is crap when when it comes in, I, I totally get it. Right, but there's also Spotify there right now. If we're able to get a chart like uh, top hundred on Spotify, uh, like we have on Apple, I think we give up a, a clear perspective of, of what's, what's doing well in uh, on Spotify. Well, yeah, they need to take all that platform seriously. This talk of Apple Music number one, it, people need to really think, they, they shouldn't see it as the end goal for them. Yes, you've made it, but mm. are you doing well on the other side as well, on the other platforms? Yeah, because uh, a lot of uh, Ruga fans actually came uh, for uh, Zeno, some two days ago when he came so the thing is he came yeah. at number one and then uh, after about three four hours he dropped down to number two and then ruga came back to number okay. one and then uh yesterday came back to number one again you know displacing ruga at number one um and fans are actually i mean there seems to be a back and forth between people who love Zeno right now and people who love ruga and um, should Apple Music be the cause of this whole back and forth between, you know, two I, sets of I think that's fine. I think that's fine with these, uh, the fan bases. It's bragging rights for for them. But it's not an award. I, I, fine, it's not an award. But when mm. was the last time you saw Zeno on the number one song with Apple Music? So when is it about Zeno? Time? Is it about Zeno right now, not about Ruga? No, it's either of them. When was the last time you, for example, is Zeno? It's been a long time. Yeah. He's dropped tracks on tracks on tracks and he's as underrated as he's been. His best song to date did not make for me or that's personal opinion. His What's best, his best song, song? La 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 I did the, the remake of that song that he did with uh that he yeah, it was just him. Tell me your Basile, you know that yes, Mark Pariwo. to me that's his best song to date. But that song did not smell number one throughout mm. his whole reign as I when he was at his peak. You get yeah, yeah. when was the last time he's in the trade had made number one? So if he's celebrating it, I totally get it, I totally understand it. But it's just a word of advice not to overly take it serious. It's all fine and good. Um that he wants to be part that his album is not it's so hard to get. So if he gets it, let him celebrate it. There's no harm in it. But the advice is take other platforms seriously as you have taken up for music. So does Ruga see Zeno as a competition? Why, why wouldn't he? Although Zeno see? sees uh, Ruga <laughs> as the same as well. See, if somebody is right at the top and doing big things, right, and he's getting their claim, it's not really competition, but people, you aspire to want to achieve what those people are achieving. Somebody dropped the song and is is everywhere. People are giving him more by acclaim. That's the dream of an artist, especially the young ones. They want to have that sort of acclaim. You get. So the, Zeno, him getting... I mean, trying to achieve the same thing doesn't necessarily mean it's competition, but it's just, yeah. it's it's the dream of these artists. Yeah. They want to be as big as possible. They want to be the talk of town. They want their song to be regarded as the most distinct one on several platforms, which is fine. 
Yeah. Um, and of course, um, we we have seen Ruga uh with lots of savages, you know, um, so or savage replies rather in the, the past, especially with the whole some noise dropped. I just dropped mine. Uh, been yep. number, number one, you know, for the past four weeks, or over a month, you know, also directly attacking um Buju. I mean, Benson with if this spills over to fan wars and everything, is Ruga mm-hmm. going to go the route, the Buju route with Zeno? Should he go the Buju route with Zeno? No, of course not. There's uh, there's never been bad blood publicly between these between these, these two yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no there's no point. Um Zbuga himself knows that <laughs> being who does that? Being number one on Apple Music alone, but on that platform alone for over a month. Yeah. He is it's something that is really hard to achieve. He's done that, he's been there, he's done it. You get that's something for him to hold. Yeah. You get so there's yeah. no there's no point dragging anything in anybody. It's done its course, it's still well, we got it. still there. So number two, actually. So number two. But you know what that happened? Would you mm. just drop his, his, his second song? <laughs> in, his, in his space of a month, I was going to, track. I was going to, I was going to, I was going to come into that. I mean, so that uh, we, we don't sound, oh, we're having to talk about two artists only. Buju is back with Omoelewa. Um, and um, let me, what number is it right now? Number 11. Number eleven, okay. <laughs> is is I think it's about twenty four hours old. <laughs> yeah, so, and I and I you see what you see what that is. You see what you see how people's people's I don't I don't want to say success people's mini win is influencing other people's decision to be like oh no I'm not I'm not having this yeah this is what I want to do this was yeah. just plan again and then here comes you know who, who comes in and take that spot but yeah. now the battle is not between guy again that's just an aspiration of would you know that like, he wants to dethrone a, a Zeno. And off he, number one, Buga, off number one, because Buju, Buju is the is the next in line, based off Hedy's win. You get he's next yes. in line. Yes. So this and is, both Ruga this is and like, Zeno were part of the next rated as well. Of course, of course, you see that, right? <laughs> yeah. So the next, the next rated, he has to. To be honest, I don't know how he's going to do. Maybe he'll go pay streaming fans. So, <laughs> no, Big Lala, <laughs> Big Lala. What are you trying to say here? Are you trying to what, say he's done I'm, it before? For you to say he guys go pay streaming farm, are you trying to say he's done his pay? That, that's the word that statement means. So don't don't try to okay, misquote. Okay. Or... So is this an what Apple I'm Music is... next week tech kind of battle right now? For the Apple Music platform, I think so, yes. Because these guys <laughs> made up that list of next week. You know, there was so much talk about Zeno this key, whether Zeno deserves it yes, or whether yeah. deserves it. Yeah. I know it's just one song. I know one funny thing, Big Lala. On yeah. personal, there's a line. Or the word, or of course, there's a line that nice only God for you award me. All I need is prayer for my mommy and daddy. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> yeah. oh, say, if you go she, drive Bentley, is it a God? No, yeah. if you go drive Bentley, there's, there's a line. <laughs> she, 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 she. Yeah. Let all this keep on. I mean, it's exciting when all these things happen. It's exciting, it's actually. Fun. It's exciting. I cannot wait. I cannot wait till tomorrow or till the weekend and see if we're going to have a one to three of these. Well, my lower guys. is going to or, be. Uh, or not. I don't want. I don't know. I don't want speculate. Yeah, exactly I don't want speculate. But it will guy. be interesting that yeah. we're moving away from these top guys and these young guys are the ones who are, are taking, on the battle are the of, spot, yes. of yeah. I'll I'll be on the lookout comparing the numbers of all these and mm. how well people will see. But Emelewa has virality on it. We'll, mm. I mean, we'll come back when we do a hit or miss for Emelewa. Yeah. But that, someone that's someone someone actually came out and said, "Oh, Buju should have dropped this instead of dropping the Trabowski, uh jam and all of that." And mm-hmm. uh, I mean, but that's by the side. Big Lala, as we go, what do you think about those lyrics to Persona? Bentley lyrics. Only God fear award me. And you know, all that's things. that's coming from a place of heart. Maybe perhaps he thinks he deserves the next to that. Of course, yeah. he gave it his best shot. People yeah. actually, the PR was, I don't know if it was PR, but he had serious industry people in his corner yeah. that were pushing for a Zeno, for a Zeno win. But yeah. that didn't happen, which is fine. But his talent is not in doubt. He, the next question for him now is, is he able to actually not of course it's putting starting to use but is he able to show that he's actually versatile he's worth the hype at the moment there's this thing that he needs to overcome of 
him sounding the same over and over again. I understand that's his style. And a lot of artists have their signature styles. Yeah. But you, you, you have to mix it up, man. You have to mix it up, man. You can't have the same delivery on songs or... All the or, same. Or, or be only comfortable on my piano uh, sounding records. You get... He has to mix it up. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, guys, let's have your thoughts on... That seems to be uh, a battle of the next rated on Apple Music right now. Ruga at number two at the moment, at the time of this particular uh, recording. Number one, we have Zinoliski. Number 11, we have Omolewa, of course, by the one and only Benson. Um, running all the way, you know, after 24 hours. Uh, guys, let's have your thoughts on everything Apple Music and the battle. Ruga getting number one, getting displaced, coming back again, getting displaced again. Zinolis King is currently doing the Lord's work at number one at the moment. The number one song. When people say number one song in the country, I'm like, okay. Yeah, go sit down, like, Jerry. <laughs> it's just Apple Music. Well, number one song on Apple Music right now is Zinolis King with yes. Personal of the Great and Lost EP. What are your thoughts on this whole bro? Ha, ha. And of course, let's know what you think about, uh, you know, Bujo coming through with number, you know, at number 11 with that one, Omwelewa. Is it a battle of the next rated or not? Put your comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next one, please. Stay safe and uh, God bless.